Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we have another store haul coming your way. Let's see what I killed off and picked up in the recent weeks for the Whiskey Cove. Run the video. All right then, folks, thank you for joining us for another new and exciting episode of the Whiskey Cove, where we will be looking at some of the whiskey balls that I managed to kill off lately, and then some that I was able to buy and kind of uh, pick up over the last month or two. We haven't done too many of these in the last half of the year because we kind of blew our budget earlier on in the year. However, we do have some excellent rare balls to share with you folks at home. Really humbled and fortunate, and also, quite frankly, I'm worked my ass off to be able to get some of these so uh, before we delve into today's video oh so close to that 5,000 subscriber mark if you want to win one of these six bottles the Willet four year right buffalo trace single barrel uh well 107 owa early times uh the black top brown foreman and old forester single barrel barrel strength and each tailor small batch then go over to the whiskey coves web page the link is in the description below go over after this video uh, and then select your free ticket there uh, lines will be closing soon i guess if you like and you have to be a subscriber to be eligible to win one of these bottles names will be drawn on the 5,000 free subscriber giveaway so make sure you're a subscriber fill out that ticket and then cross your fingers and hopefully we can get you one of these six bottles let's get these out of here and then let's get on with today's video so we so as always what we'll do is we will share some of the bottles that we were able to kill off and to be quite frankly didn't really kill off too many this month that's not with course of trying but uh, we were doing a lot of reviews opening up some new bottles to really uh, fill in some of the gaps here towards the end of the year so we only managed to kill off two uh, the first one is a favorite of the whiskey cove and that is the jack daniels bondit uh, as you see has disappeared from the shelf behind me because we killed it off what an excellent bottle of whiskey and i would love to pick up another one of these i just have too much whiskey right now so i'm not going to go out of my way to be able to secure one of these they are on the shelves pretty much everywhere here in colorado for 30 dollars so I don't need to be in a rush to get that but very pleasant whiskey and this is one of the favorites here down at the whiskey cove and then the next one uh, was the Rare Breed Rye. Uh, we did a review of the Rare Breed Bourbon, the Rare Breed Rye, and we thought, heck, we'd been putting that review off for a while, so let's just go ahead and kill this bomb. And we did, we had some friends around as well. They tried them, give me some of those tasting notes and feedback, and I think it kind of sits where I was thinking. It's kind of okay. Uh, it doesn't really set the world on fire, but for me, I think there's better out there for the price. So that was Rare Breed Rye. So with that being said, let's delve into some of the whiskeys that we were able to pick up and bring down into the whiskey. So for bottle number one, kind of a pretty unique bottle here, and I know you've seen, I know you can see it's a Buffalo Trace, and I know you're probably already thinking, it's a Buffalo Trace single barrel, we already know this. It is not a Buffalo Trace single barrel, it is a regular one litre bottle of Buffalo Trace. What makes this bottle so unique, I guess, if you like, is that the master distiller for Buffalo Trace came down to Denver, uh, and he was like answering some questions, and he was signing some bottles. So whilst I was there, I just got a, a bottle of one litre bottle of Buffalo Trace, and, and he signed it there. So I, hopefully that shows up on the camera there, uh, the master blender there at Buffalo Trace. So I think that's pretty unique. It would be nice if it was a single barrel that maybe he was involved with selecting, but he is the master blender, so he had a hand of blending this bottle regardless. We paid the oh so heaven, heavenly high price of $32 out the door for this and a pretty cool memoir. I don't think I'll open this bottle. I think I'll just kind of sit in it for a while. It's not going to be any different really to any other Buffalo Trace, but just more of like a collector's thing, which is just pretty cool. I liked it and for the price, it was unbeatable. Next up, and we were able to get, uh, let's do this, Old Forester 1870. So I noticed that I want to do an Old Forester video soon. Uh, maybe like a tier list or a, a taste through for this distillery we didn't have this in our collection we kind of had a little bit of money left over and maybe we'll do this next month uh, for the other iterations of a forest that, that we don't currently have and then we kind of can do that video but this isn't opened yet i haven't tasted this there's 1870 the original box 45 percent abv or 90 proof i think this was kind of set upon like the original one that they bottled so i'm really excited to get into this like i said i've only tried this at the distillery i've never owned a bottle now i do cost around 50 dollars not too 
expensive uh, for what you get Old Forest and make some really great whiskey. This is right up there as well. So that was bottle number two. <clears throat> and for bottle number three, let's uh, humor me a little bit here. And those who watch the channel know that I do tend to lean sometimes towards Imperial Stouts thus. So we'll kind of do a few of these together, then knock them out. So we bought uh, these two and then these three. So we'll do these ones together. Uh, so these are Weld Works, and these are one is the Medianoche Imperial Stout for this year, the 2023 release, and then the other one is a Caramel Vanilla Latte Medianoche. So the one from this year uh, was finished in uh, Buffalo Trace Warehouse X Experimental Bourbon Barrels, Laws Whiskey House Rye, Eagle Rab Bourbon, Old Fitzgerald Bourbon, Old Elk Bourbon, Wheated Well and Well, a 12 Bourbon, Breckridge Bourbon, and Templeton 10 Year Rye. A lot of barrel finishes there, so this will be really interesting to see how that turns out. Uh, the Caramel Vanilla Latte was finished in uh, E.H. Taylor Bourbon, 15-year Blanton's Bourbon, and 10-year Eagle Rare Bourbon. So again, a lot of whiskey notes will come through in these whiskeys. Um, this is a, a whiskey. Uh, this is a barrel H cuvee uh, from Fremont uh, Brewing Company in Washington. This is the limited 2023 release. It doesn't say what it is finished on. It just has an exclusive blend of barrel H, spice stout, and porter. It's only five dollars. So these were about 25 bucks. That was five bucks. Definitely worth it. This was from Avery Brewing in Boulder, Colorado. This is called Old Fashioned and Friends. 13.2% ABV. Uh, kind of has some orange old fashioned tasting notes, and then finished on a bullet distillery bourbon barrel so uh, kind of probably like a bullet old-fashioned is what I'm thinking from that and then lastly this is a uh, kind of a Halloween type one and this is a rum barrel aged imperial porter 9.2% out of copper copper kettle in Denver Colorado so a nice selection of Imperials here ones that I'll get into this cold day season let's get these out of here and then next up and we have you might have already seen the review depends on when this video is coming out we were able to find the Jack Daniels barrel proof rye finally smells fantastic so much more banana bread note this time around this one is coming in at 64.5 percent alcohol 129 proof i did overpay for this whiskey because i've been trying to find it for a while i paid 99 dollars and uh, i wouldn't have paid that much for it if it wasn't for another bottle that i bought it with and that's because i was able to pick up an old forest the barrel strength single barrel this is 130.3 proof or 65.15 percent abv warehouse k for kilo floor two this was 90 bucks so check that out. Why the heck was this priced up more than this? I'll never know. But because this was only $90, I was okay with paying $100 for this. So I felt like the two balanced themselves out. I rarely ever see this. I think I've seen it one more time and uh, we picked it up. It's down there. And I think it's time to do a review on that one or this one. We'll do a review somehow. Maybe blind battle it up against this other brown foam one ride that we have. But very happy with you. We were able to get both of these down into the Whiskey Cove. I kind of put this in kind of like the semi-unicorn category because you just don't see them. It's nowhere near as... Uh, as common as the blue one you never see these ever everywhere anyway but glad we got this glad we did the review go and check that out on this next up and we have john j bowman single barrel so i thought i had a i thought i had an extra of my john j bowman single barrel but as i was checking i was like oh i guess i don't maybe i give it away or uh, maybe i took it over to a friend's house so i knew i needed another one this is the new label because the old label kind of looks like that they've kind of upped it to like a green label i'll be completely honest i kind of like the old label a lot better and they kind of done away with the back label of like kind of the old parchment paper style and gone with like a complete green label there nevertheless there are always single barrel products so we're going, there's going to be differences between all of them but it'll be interesting to see if the new style has played any part into some of the whiskey i know sometimes when distilleries switch over the branding or style of the bottle sometimes there can be some change in in the process of the juice behind the scenes there however we can kind of compare and contrast and go from there i managed to get this from someone here in colorado i did pay 70 dollars for it and I, I paid for like $50 for that one like two, three years ago out in the East Coast. So I think even if I went back out to the East Coast, I probably wouldn't be able to find this anywhere less than 70. So I thought 70 was an excellent price for that. 50% ABV or 100 proof. Excited to get into this one now that we have another one. So John J. Bowman, single barrel. Next up, uh, we have <clears throat> Elijah Craig C923. So yes, much like the Jack Daniels, Mm, so good. We were able to get this bottle of whiskey. So we did whiskeys to look out for 
recent video in the back end of November for December and someone approached us and wanted us to do an ad in the Whiskey Cove, one of the videos, and we did it then. And the money that they give for that, uh, we went out and bought this. Uh, yes, we paid about $100 for that, so I should tell you how much we got for the ad. But we just put it straight back into the Whiskey Cove. So I appreciate you being patient with like a two minute ad during one of those videos. But I think kind of having a whiskey channel is a little bit different to maybe some other channels on YouTube. Some other channels on YouTube that you don't necessarily have to pump too much money in. It's maybe more opinionated. Uh, maybe you don't really need the products and just giving your opinion on said products. But when it comes to like whiskey reviews and whiskey channels, uh, you spend a lot of money on the whiskey. Yes, you're getting that whiskey back, but you, you don't get much, if not any money from YouTube. So anytime a sponsorship comes along, I would love to utilize that, but then put that money straight back into the Whiskey Cove there, which is what we did with this. We did a blind battle that's on the channel with B520, C920, and C919. I won't tell you how that went, but that was a fantastic and excellent video. And I enjoyed every second of that there as well. So that was the Elijah Craig C923. So before we get into the last three incredible bottles, you th or four incredible bottles, you thought that the Imperial Stouts were done. Uh, so they're not quite done, but they will be after these, I promise. And we have, <coughs> It is that time of year that is Black Friday, so Goose Island do uh, their release of the Black Friday Goose Islands. So the County Buran Stout, uh, which is what these two are. Uh, so every year I buy two of the County Brown Stouts. I drink one around Christmas time and then I put one away to be aged for 10 years. So I have a 10 year rotation. Last year I drank the 2013 release on New Year's Eve and this year I'll drink the 2014 and so on and so forth. I have a 10 year rotation. So we'll drink one, we'll put one to age and then I also like to pick up a specialty. And the one we went with this time was the Bananas Foster Stout. And that is uh, a stout aged in bourbon barrels with bananas, almonds, cassia bark and natural flavors. So that sounds pretty banana forward and then the original county brown stout uh, is just bourbon barrel aged by goose island didn't say what bourbon barrel they used they generally don't unless it's like a, a, a limited release one and then lastly we bought a 2021 dark star uh, barrel aged dark star so we've got the 2023 and i think the 2022 in the last video but then we just found the 2021 sitting on the shelf for like the same price and that's a bit of a no-brainer as well because it's been conditioning in the bottle for like two years ready to drink anytime i want it to so really happy to get that yes it was $25 uh, these two were about $12, $13 and I think that was close to $20 so about $50 or so spent on uh, these imperial ones about $100 in total but I think some good value with the money to be had there <coughs> so these last three bottles let's do them together we have two Weller 107 OWAs and then lastly, we have a well of foolproof store pick. So it was my birthday recently, uh, and my wife had been up to San Francisco, and long been known to me, she had brought back some bottles for me, uh, which were these two bottles. When she was there, she went to Total Wine in the San Francisco Bay Area, and she was able to get these two and an E.H. Taylor. She gave the E.H. Taylor to my brother-in-law, because he's also getting into Berman. And then she knows that these are some of my favorite wheated whiskeys, and especially the 107. Uh, she said that she paid $45 a piece at Total Wine, and they never get them there by the sounds of things but she was just there luckily on one day I think she was looking for the Jack Daniels barrel proof ride for me but I think this is a good result nonetheless so for less than $100 out the door for two 107 OWAs excellent value for money very happy that I can get them I I shamefully have about four of these and like two store picks of 107 OWAs so if you ever come down on the whiskey cove and you're thinking what to bring and you don't mind splurging a little bit get a 107 or 107 store pick for me going into store picks and um, during the Black Friday release uh, for Goose Island there was a store that was doing a little bit of a whiskey drop uh, and we camped outside I wouldn't say camped outside the store opens at 8 a.m. I got to about six o'clock in the morning it's only about two hour wait it was very cold we're talking like 15 degrees Fahrenheit which is like negative eight or something or Celsius for those who use the metric system so this is a store pick this is barrel number 303 so I was like two people away so I got there I was about sixth in line they pulled out a box. They pulled, They had like 150 bottles of these, but they pulled out with that, they pulled out one box of Weller single barrels. One box had six bottles in, got to the register. They started serving us. 
and there's only three of the Wow single barrels in the box. So this could have been a Wow single barrel, but in all honesty, if we're just going off a of flavor, then Weller Fall Proof is probably my favorite Weller. When we did the blind barrel, that's what it told me. And the Weller single barrel didn't do so well. So very happy that we were able to get a Fall Proof. Actually, I think this is the second time that we've got one from Dave Cove this year. We have another one from there, which we've already cracked. And that was barrel number 384 from Dave Cove. So they managed to get two Fall Proof. Uh, allotments this year for the barrel release which is awesome but also just you know trying it this seems to be stuck but also also opening them this is like short strawberry shortbread beautiful they also do really great picks and I'm all, I've been told by someone who has opened that pick already this is also a killer pick there as well uh, we paid $60 for these again my wife paid 45 for those but all in all what a haul that time of year when we get the barrel proof stouts we get some good whiskies and maybe the next time we do this video again, we might just get oh so lucky on a unicorn whiskey bottle. I guess we'll have to see. Some of the people might say these are unicorn whiskey bottles, and I totally get that. Uh, and we're fortunate here in Colorado, if you hunt enough, uh, if you build up good connections, if you hustle enough, if you get out of bed early in the morning, if you go to the hood, you can find some really good bottles of whiskey. But I get that these can be unicorn bottles. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know I have uh, some good whiskey to be up here drinking soon. And hopefully in the next video we can get something oh so special for you folks at home. With that being said, as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time, these whiskeys every day, please. Cheers.